and welcome to the channel, I'm Chief Sweet, and today I'm gonna show you how to breed your own fruit flash so that we don't ever have to buy them ever again. So if you have frogs, baby spiders, all kinds of stuff, and you need a good batch of fruit flies, at all times, you order them, it takes two weeks, you go to PetSmart, they're all dead. I don't know, pets, all the insects inside of little clips like this in PetSmart are always dead. However, you want a reliable source that's always gonna be there for your animals, breed your own stuff. That's just the way it is. But when you breed your own stuff, a lot of people ask, how do you do it? And that's what today's video is about. Now, unfortunately, I do buy all my ingredients to make my fruit fly cultures, you know, across the board. It's all actually from one place because it's just, they have a monopoly on this. I mean, they're just, there's no one else doing it. I am not sponsored by them at all. I don't, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm sponsored by you, the viewer, for watching my videos, thank you. But everything I got today, I got from Josh's Frogs because that's just where they sell the stuff. This right here is Fruit Fly Media. It's the food, it's what's gonna keep your fruit flies fruit flies fed in these cups when you breathe them. I got the cups from Josh's Frogs. Now it is very important when we start doing this, uh, I get clear, it doesn't matter what kind of cups you get, but I get these clear cups. They're very cheap. They're like, I don't know, 20 cents a piece. I don't even, I buy like 40 of them. Um, you can reuse them, I'll talk about that later, but it's very important that you buy vented lids. It's like fabric fabric lids. Don't buy any other types. If you buy like the ones with the tiny holes, when the fruit flies, it's gonna be disgusting, but when they turn into maggots, they will literally just crawl out of the holes. And there'll be a pile on top. Trust me, I've tried it. <laughs> I thought I could do it. They came out of, I mean, it's tiny holes too. They all popped out, there's a pile of magazines. It's disgusting. Anyways, point is, you want vented lids, vented lids for these. That way it has airflow. They need a lot of airflow to survive. And so you need that. But let's go ahead and get started. This is Melon Gaster formula. Now you can make your own version of this. It uses like beer and all kinds of stuff like that. However, I don't got time for that. I just use this, it's easy. We're gonna pour it in, we're gonna put some water in there. Bam, done. So we get our fruit fly cups like this. We get our melon gaster formula. Again, got it on Josh's frogs. I have Josh's frogs like down below. So we get our melon gaster formula. We get half a cup of it. That's why I got the measuring cup. Half a cup of this stuff right here. Whoo, perfect. Anyways, we get half a cup of that. We put it right there. We just pour it in there like so. See, right there. And then I'm making two of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another one. I wanna say I make about 10 to 15 with a bag of this, which is pretty good. I mean, you're gonna, it's, you have a lot, trust me. Now this is where I stray from the instructions a little bit. A lot of the times you'll hear like fruit fly people say that you wanna boil water, right? Me, I don't do that. I just use straight up bottled water. It does say use bottled water here, but it does first say use boiling water, right? Boil some water. However, I just use some spring water that's just in a, you know, bottled water. Use three fourths a cup, as it says on the instructions. Now, this is where a lot of people ask me like, is this normal, right? So I just use three fourth a cup of water and you don't have to use any more. But when you put it inside of the fruit fly media, you're gonna notice something. You're gonna notice something right off the bat. And it's that once this absorbs all that, it's still gonna be dry on the bottom. Like this is gonna absorb and then down here is gonna be dry. Do not worry. Don't add any more to this, okay? Because it's gonna get wet from just the maggots and all that stuff inside of it. It's disgusting, I know. But let it stay dry, okay? Don't worry about that. Let it sit. It'll eventually, it will, trust me, eventually. If you overfill it, it's gonna be water, it's gonna mold, it's gonna be horrible, right? D leave it a little dry, that's perfectly fine. And then bam, look at that. We're moving along very nicely. I usually just let this sit for like an hour or two, maybe a couple of hours, and then we move on to the next step. However, you if you wanted to, you can just mix this up, right? You can just mix it up with like a little stick or something and get it all in there. It's gonna be very like doughy when you do that. It ain't gonna matter. Once the fruit flies get in here and they start putting their, you know, babies on there and the maggots start eating it, it's gonna get very kind of like very moist and it's gonna turn into some nasty stuff. However, you will have tons of fruit flies doing it that way. But I'm not gonna mix it together. Actually, I will mix it together. I don't wanna wait for this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it together. But anyways, yeah, for the sake of this video, I don't got a lot of time. I mean, it ain't gonna really matter, but I am just gonna hurry up and just, you know, mix it up a little bit. Usually though, I will just let it sit, but for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do that. But you know, you just let it sit and eventually it'll kind of soak up enough to, you know, there won't be water sitting on top like this right here. And the reason you don't want water sitting on top is for the next step of the video, Excelsior. But again, I get some Josh's Fox. Now, I have used other stuff besides this Excelsior, but to me, it works the best, it looks the best. Um, people use coffee filters, I've used hemp, like rope, and that's worked. I've used all kinds of stuff. You just want something for the fruit flies to get off the ground, climb around on, right? And that's what this is. This is basically just wood that's grinded up into like, kind of like little ropey-like stuff. And then all we do, is we get the stuff and we just put it in there. You don't have to use that much. I just like to use like a little bit, enough for a ton of fruit flies to climb on. 
Now, sometimes when they send it to me, like when they, when I buy fruit flies, when I buy them, I notice that they like really put lots of like rope in here and stuff like that. Or not rope. I say rope, excelsior. When they put the tons of excelsior in there, it's like a ton. And it feels like it kind of chokes out the, the bottom flies. And so I like to kind of keep mine a little light, right? A little light, you know, not too much, but just not too crazy at the same time. Now, also these little strands that are coming off here, I don't put in there because when I use my fruit flies and I tip it over and I like kind of pat them out, these little tiny ones that kind of fell out will just fall into my cup of calcium and it gets on my nerves. So that's why I just kind of keep it pretty simple like this right here, right? And I keep it like that. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more, just a hair, just a smidgen, just a couple more long ones. Then you know what? I kind of did exactly what Josh's frogs did, and I was really talking about them like they put too much in here, and then I did the same thing. <laughs> but <laughs> anyways, I put about that much in there, and then all we do is we're gonna add our fruit flies. Now, it depends on what type of fruit flies you have. Now, there are a lot of fruit flies to use. I have wingless fruit flies. I have winged flightless fruit flies. I have bigger golden high dye fruit flies. For this one, I'm gonna use wingless uh, fruit flies. So, or no, this is winged. I'm gonna use wingless fruit flies. Now, all you have to do is add like 20 to 25 fruit flies in here, and then you're golden, you're good to go, okay? Now, it can be a little crazy when you add them in there, right? You gotta, I, I like to give it a little tap, right? A little love tap, like that. Kind of tap them, knock them down in there, tell them, you know, who's boss. And then I will tap a couple in there like this, right? Maybe more than a couple. And then I kind of tap the lid where they all fall down like that. And then we hurry up and we throw this sucker on here like this. And this doesn't want to do that. Now, you do kind of have some get out, like right now I think there's one, two, and it, you get rid of them. <laughs> I'm sorry, little ones. But now we have, that's about 20 in there. 20 fruit flies, these are tinier ones. These are the winged baby fruit flies. Yeah, no, actually these are the wingless fruit flies. Oh my, I have a lot of fruit, different fruit fly cultures. Anyways, bam. We got them in there, and then after that, you wait a couple weeks, and you're gonna have thousands of fruit flies. And that's all you do, simple as that. Now, earlier in the video, and I get this question a lot, is people ask, can I reuse these, right? Can I, what do I do when it starts getting old? And if you're wondering when it starts getting old, is once they eat up all the food, and it starts to get really low like this, eventually it'll be nothing, right? And there's not a lot of fruit flies in here. What do you do, How, can you clean it out? How do you clean it out without getting fruit flies everywhere? And there's a simple solution, just freeze it. You could put this inside of your freezer, freeze it overnight in the morning, everything's all hard and everything, you just tap it out, wash it in the, you know, with like where you wash dishes if you don't want it. You can take it outside if you're too scared to do that, I understand, but then you just wash it out and it'll be totally good. Because most of the time the fabric lids, nothing goes wrong, you know, they don't get dirty. If they do get dirty, you might have to replace the lid, but you can still reuse the deli cups easily and that's what I do, I just put it in the freezer and boom, easy. Please eat lemon squeeze. I hope this was of help. And if you want to see more, like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with a room tour very soon. So if you're in for that, stick around.